In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated end screen for your YouTube videos that look like this. But before we begin, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Lego. All right, friends, here we are at the Canva dashboard. And very simply, we are looking for the video canvas, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now, for your end screen animation, you want to make sure that it is no longer than 10 seconds. So this is just going to be a one page animation. It's very simple. What we are going to do first is we are going to go and look for uh, a video. So in this case, if you have a video that you like to use, go ahead and use that. But in this case, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a stock video from Canva. I'm just going to trim this down like to the 10 seconds, as I mentioned before. Actually, I think this video has a loop, so I'm going to actually cut this down to roughly right here just like that now i'm going to press r on my keyboard for a rectangle square and i'm just going to size it up to frame and i'm going to change this to the green and we're going to reduce the transparency of that because we want to make sure that we are on brand with this specific brand kit okay Next up, we are going to be putting in our photo, so our headshots. So I'm just going to go to my folder here where I have all my photos and quickly just drag one in. Now we are going to use the, the best Canva Pro feature ever, which is the background remover. One click and the background is going to be removed. Ta-da! Because like I say, with Canva Pro, you become a professional and I'm going to show you how. So as always, link in the description box below to try Canva Pro for 30 days free on me. So check it out. Now that we have that in place, we also are going to add in a shadow effect here just for some extra dimension. I'm going to bump up the transparency to 80% so we can see it just a little bit more. Make sure Canva does its thing right there. Next, we are going to go into, we're going to find some elements to put behind myself. So we're going to look for the gradient circle here. And we're going to choose this one here because you can change the color. And I'm just going to size this up. And I'm just going to make sure that this background here is covering the full page. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to push this to the back here so it is behind me. And then one more element we are looking for is this honeycomb this gold honeycomb abstract shape. And I use this one for this particular design. I'm gonna change that to this color here. And now we're just going to assemble. So I'm just gonna size myself up properly on this side here. And if you've watched my other tutorials on how to make your thumbnails, this is this design right here. At least this portion is very similar to how I would create my YouTube thumbnail. So I'm just gonna put that gradient circle right behind here and I'm just going to size this bad boy up here and I'm just going to make sure that it is right in the background like that. So don't worry, we're going to make it look nice, make it look nice. Okay. Actually, there we go. If I just do it like that and I'm just going to push this to the back just like that. Not all the way to the back, but to the back just like that. So now that we have that in place, now we're going to add in some text here. So T on your, oop, I'm going to click out here and click T. Then we're going to say, actually, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so it's easier to change the text on here. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Then we are actually, let's see, I forgot the G in watching. I'm going to change this font here to one I was using before. It's Cy, Cyrillic, Cyrillic Bodoni. And I'm just going to make that bold here. And I'm just going to make that big right there. Then I'm just going to grab another text box underneath. And let's see, I'm going to lock down this screen here so I don't move it around. And then we're going to put watch next and i'm going to change this font to let's see some kind of cursive font let's see <laughs> this one's always good Brittany is always a nice font here 
and I'm actually going to change the color of that. Now we're going to add some bit of some text and um, text effects to make this look more interesting. So for the thanks for watching bit, I'm going to give it a bit, a bit of a drop shadow using the lift intensity, the lift effect and increasing the intensity. Now for the watch next, I'm going to be using the neon one and you can change the intensity of it. So I like to do kind of around here. So the white peeps through, but it's that glow color of the beige. So now I'm just going to put that just up here. Now we are going to go ahead and go into, let's see, we're going to grab this and we are going to be eyeballing the size of the YouTube video in the end screen. So I'm just going to say it's around this size here when you go into YouTube studio and you actually put the video of watch next. So we're going to say it's roughly this size and I'm actually going to make it transparent and we are going to just give this a border. Now I'm going to put it around, actually put it around number 10. So it's kind of the same width as the honeycomb back here. And I'm also going to change the color and I'm going to round out the corners probably 250 just like that. So in this case, I'm just going to bump this up just a little bit more. I'm going to move all this up just like that. Now, the next and the final bit we have here is the YouTube subscribe button. And as you know, I like to use this specific one right here. And I'm just going to put it down here and I'm going to size it down just a bit. And then we are going to change the color. Okay, I'm just going to click and drag all this and make sure that everything is centered just like that. And I'm going to posi position it just like this. And actually, I'm going to drag myself just a little bit more just like that. Now, for the fun part to make this animated, click outside of your canvas, go up to animate. And you can see here that Canva has combinations of the page. Now you can go ahead and just hover over and see which one you like the best. But I find for this specific design, I really like the corporate one. It's just smooth, professional looking, and it just looks so good. So we're going to put the corporate one on here. Now we can add in some music as well. So go into your toolbar, hit the audio, go ahead and search through this library. But I have this specific song that I used here that I also used in my intro animation video. So if you haven't watched the intro video yet, go ahead and watch that. Now we're going to just play around with what sounds best here. So you can't hear it, but let's see. Whoa, that's loud for me. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now I'm just going to fade it in, fade it out. 0.5 seconds, 0.5 seconds. Go ahead and give it another play here. Let's go the big screen play. You can see the drone footage in the background, the animation in corporate, very nice, very nice. And there you go, that is your end screen. Ta-da, that took less than 10 minutes. Now to use this, all we have to do is go up to the share button, click download, and again, because this is a piece of audio content that's coming from the Canva library, we have to ensure that we have our social channels connected. So Canva makes it pretty simple to do so. All you have to do is connect social accounts and then Canva actually takes you through how to do this, but I have mine already connected to my YouTube channel and just go ahead and click download. And there you go, my friends. Now that you have your end screen animation made, it's also important to make sure that your YouTube intro animation is up to par. And I show you how to create that in this video right over here. So be sure to check it out. Three, two, one, click.